Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Sneaker Firm. I know it's been a while since I did a video, but there wasn't really anything that's come out recently that I thought was worth buying. Up until this weekend though, there was a ton of things that released. The PSG Air Jordan 6, the Eric Costa Nike's B-Dunk Low, and then the SpongeBob pack that I released as well. Um, I was able to grab everything that I wanted. So I'll be posting up videos to all the stuff that I purchased um, within this week. So just bear with me because there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of videos um, and I have to do a lot of stuff in between. So you know, I'll be trying to post a video every other day if I can. Um, so, just, so just stay tuned guys and bear with me. But for today we're reviewing the Air Jordan 1 Low Nike SB Eric Costin. Now these are released Saturday, August 10th at your local skate shops and then they just released this morning on the sneakers app. I wasn't able to grab another pair but I'm glad that I was able to get at least one pair to do a review for you guys. Um, so real dope sneaker in my opinion. The colorway is nice. Obviously it's inspired by the UNC Jordan 1. So a little info on what Eric Costin decided to do this colorway. Um, I guess back in the day when he was shopping with his mom, um, he saw this sneaker sitting on shelves and his mom didn't buy it for him because he said the shoes that he had on were still good. And I think that's pretty dope that you know now in the future he was actually able to recreate the sneaker um, as his own. And I'll get a little bit more into detail on one of the sneakers in a minute about that. But yeah, let's get right into the sneaker. Um, so your outsole, you got that UNC blue outsole all around. You got your all white midsole. You move on to the upper. You got your hits of UNC blue on the front, on the heel tab, on the Nike swoosh. Your side panels and your toe box are this nice white leather. Um, and actually all the leather on the sneaker is really good quality. They did a good job on this sneaker. Um, it's nice and uh, tumbled, nice and soft. You move on to the laces, you got your white laces, white nylon tongue, white tongue tab, which is UNC Blue Nike SB branding. You got your white Wings logo on the back. These do come with an extra set of UNC laces, but I think the white ones look better. You got your UNC insole and collar with Nike SB in white. And one cool thing about the Eric Costin story is that on the back of the tongue, there's a price tab for $24.99. And I guess that's how much the sneaker was originally when he first saw it on the shelf back when he was a kid shopping with his mom. So I think that's definitely a nice touch to add. And with that being said, I'm just gonna give you guys an upload look at the shoe right now. And that's all I really have for these guys. Just want to show you guys my latest pickup. The Air Jordan 1 Nike SB Eric Costin. Real nice colorway in my opinion. Nice materials being used all around. And the concept and story behind the sneaker is dope as well. Um, so these did retail for 110 and now the price is actually starting to go up. I've seen them this morning for around 210, 220. So I don't know if they're gonna keep rising or not. Um, if you're looking to buy them, I would say buy them now before prices skyrocket. You know, I'm not really sure how much more they'll go up, but I'll go ahead and try and secure a pair now. Um, like I said, real nice sneaker in my opinion. I was able to grab the SpongeBob pack. I grabbed every single pair except for the Mr. Krabs pair. Um, that pair sold out before I was able to get into the store, um, but it is what it is. I really wanted the Patrick pair more than any other one, so I was glad I was able to grab that. Um, so stay tuned for those videos, because I'll be posting up, like I said, this week. And like always, guys, thanks for the support. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.